Um, and I mean, we've vertically integrated the manufacturing of the heat shield tiles because there, there was no supplier that could provide us with the materials that were needed. So the um, you, you need to make essentially this this very fine vermicelli of of glass and aluminum oxide uh, fibers. Um, aluminum oxide is basically sapphire. So it's like gla glass and sapphire, very fine fibers in exactly the right geometry uh, with special coatings um, in order to have the, th this heat shield tile be reusable, um, like not melt, um, and, but not be so brittle that it gets damaged um, on ascent or descent. Um, like it can't be as, you know, it's, it's kind of like re almost the brittleness of a coffee cup type of mm. thing. Um, and the rocket's shaking like hell. So you got this thing like, sh you, you, you saw it firsthand. Like mm -hmm. imagine you're at ground zero of that rocket. Like you feel how much shaking it was when you're like five miles away. Imagine if you're right there, you know. So you got, you're, you're shaking these things that are like as brittle as a coffee cup, trying not to have them crack or break. Um, and then ha not have them melt. Um, you've got several, th several thousand of these things. Um, you know, and, and if even a few of them break, uh, it's not reusable. So is there innovation that's being done in the materials technology yeah. at SpaceX where you're, you're constantly trying to find and tweak a better version of this? Yes. And it's a very difficult problem. No, it's a problem no one has ever solved. So we've got to get the exact right uh, materials combination, uh, the, the, the right molecules in the right shape, and, and then apply those that heat shield perfectly to the rocket with no mistakes. Um, there's a reason that no one solved this before. It's a very difficult problem. So, um, and like I said, we ha we've had to vertically integrate the entire manufacturing of the tile from the basic raw materials to a finished tile. Um, rebuild, like build the entire supply chain from basic raw materials. So we, you're just inputting uh, silicon, uh, silicon and aluminum oxides.